Hey guys, um, thank you for all the support on Chatty Patty for our up and coming event, which is again the weekend of the 1st and 2nd of October. Um, it's 6 a.m. and I'm up bright and early um, for my not so much favourite part about running, and that is the strength and conditioning side of it. Um, no matter how far you're going to run, guys, if it's going to be a 5k or a full marathon, strengthening and conditioning is important to add into your weekly routine. Um, there's different extremes, obviously, you can go to the gym like I'm um, and do my PT session in the house. Um, I will post a link to a YouTube channel, um, it's called The Running Channel, and they have a section on strengthening and conditioning, which you do in the house. Um, it can be as simple as um, just just vertical um, squatting, um, lifting up your calves and stuff like that, just to make sure that you are strengthening around the knees. This will help you when you're doing your running, and it'll also help you when it comes to um, injury. The more, the better your strength and conditioning, literally the better everything else is going. Um, yeah, so we, we're 12 weeks out. Um, hope you've all decided where you want to run and what runs you want to do. I know there's a lot of runs coming up around that weekend. Um, there's plenty, but there's always a park run on the Saturday, which is a beautiful 5k for everybody. So yeah, let me know in the comments below or on Chatty Patty or private DM me what, um, what, what event you're planning for. And if you need any help, just let me know as well. Um, or reach out to your DM and they will be able to help you and direct you in the right direction if you're not quite sure. Yep, thanks for listening, and I'll keep you up to date of my week. Um, already dreading it, and I know it's 12 weeks out. I'm thinking, oh, why again? You know, especially in this heat. It's an absolute nightmare to run in the heat. But if you are running the heat, guys, make sure you put sudden block on and drink plenty of fluids and wear a hat. You know, it's nothing worse than coming back and you're bright red like a lobster. And it's uncomfortable then all night because you've got like prickly heat from, from the burn. So just please wear sun, um, sun lotion, plenty of water, and just reduce your speed a little bit so that you're not you're not flat out and not all in. You know, just, just make sure you're being a bit um, sensible. Try and run very early in the morning or try and run quite later in the evening when, um, when the weather gets a little bit cooler. I know it doesn't feel like it gets any cooler, but... It does a little bit. Just, uh, just look after yourself, guys. And um, yeah, hope you've had a good week. Thank you.